This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello! Object detection is a computer vision technique that involves identifying and locating objects within an image or video. It is a fundamental task in various applications such as surveillance, autonomous driving and image retrieval. This time I will explain to you how to make a powerful object detection device that uses only an inexpensive ESP32 camera module with a built-in FTDI USB to serial converter. This means that there is no need for any soldering or connecting of external components. We only need to connect the module directly to the USB port of the PC. Basically, the whole system consists of two parts. USB 32 camera module with Arduino code installed. And the second part is a PC software, actually Python code, that uses OpenCV, which is a powerful library for computer vision tasks, including identifying and localizing object, objects, as well as object detection. In our case, a process series of images received from, from this small camera model. Now I will explain the installation method in order. First, we need to enable camera module support in the Arduino environment. For this purpose, we go to Arduino ID, File, Preferences, where we add the ESP32 URL to board to additional board manager URLs, as follows. Now we go to Tools, Boards, Board Manager, and search for ESP32. It is recommended to install version 2.0.6 or newer ESP32 core. I already installed the latest version, 3.0.4. Next on Arduino, Tools, ESP32 Arduino, we need to choose AI Tinker ESP32 Cam. Uh, cam. AI Tinker ESP32 Cam. With this, the procedure of entering support for the specific camera module in the, in the Arduino ID is completed. Next, we need to install the ESP32 Cam library from the attached zipped file. For this, we go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library and we search for previously downloaded zip library. After this, uh, we upload the provided Arduino code.
Just don't forget to enter the credentials of our Wi-Fi network beforehand in the code. Now, with, when the code is uploaded in the Arduino serial monitor, uh, we check if the camera is, is initialized and working. And we also need to remember the IP address that was assigned to, to it in the local network because we need this address when starting the Python code. We start reset button on the camera. And IP address is 192.161.100.14. We need to enter this address to uh, later to the Python code. Next comes the installation of the Python environment section. For this purpose, we go to the Python page, download the latest version, and install and install it with default settings Not, noting that we need to mark the checkbox add python exe to path As I mentioned at the beginning, in order for uh, in order for Python code to work, several necessary libraries need to be installed, namely num numpy, uh, py, opencv, and cvlib libraries. For this purpose, we go to the command prompt and execute the following commands. Now we start the Python idle editor, which is an integral part of the Python installation or any other Python editor. We go to the file, open and search for the provided Python code. Let's be mentioned that together with the code, there are three more files that must be located in the same folder as the code. When we open the code, we need to enter the IP address from the camera that was previously given to the Arduino serial monitor. I already entered that address. Uh, now we press run. And if we have completed the previous steps, a video from the camera appears on the screen for a few moments 
on which various objects surrounded by a rectangular green frame are detected. In our case, mouse. Uh, the name of the detected object is right, uh, written to the upper part of the frame. We can try with other objects. Cup. Scissors. Or apple. And now let's see how it looks in real conditions. As can be seen from the examples, the system is capable of detecting objects with high precision. In particular, this system uses a pre-trained object detection model. The file coco.names contains the names of the 90 plus objects that the YOLO v3 model is trained to detect. And finally a short conclusion, object detection is having uses in almost all sorts of industries. It is used for tracking objects, people counting, automatic CCTV, surveillance, their vehicle detection, etc. This is certainly the simplest and cheapest object detection system that can serve perfectly for the presentation of the possibilities of this technology. And for powerful object detection, and identification, even without using the Python code, we can use the AMB82 Mini IOT AI camera, which will probably be the uh, sub subject of analysis in one of my next videos.